Hey, kid, you see that sign? You gotta be over 18 to be in here. Now go ask your parents if you can go outside and play. Go get some sunshine, why don't you? Go on, scram, kid. Nothing more to see here. Hello everybody, I'm Atomic67 and welcome back to another Rockstar Social Club update for Grand Theft Auto Online. So this one runs from July 2nd to July 8th of 2020 and it's packed with some great things that all of us have been waiting for. So for starters, how about a whopping 70% off bunkers, hangars, and facilities. And then 50% off the Mark II Oppressor. And you're gonna get that even cheaper if you listen to what I have to say later in the video. So all this and more, and we're gonna get into it in a little bit more detail briefly and get you up to snuff right after this message. Alright, for your first course, Rockstar is serving up 2x rewards. That's right, double rewards in the Missile Base series. Go underground and earn double GTA dollars and double reputation points in the Missile Base series. Competing in intense team-based modes like Every Bullet Counts, Juggernaut, Slasher, and more. Deep within the bowels of Mount Chiliad. And if it's been 24 hours since your last spin of the wheel at the casino, go on down and take your chances and try to win that beautiful Western Sovereign motorcycle all decorated in the stars and stripes. How about take 50% off 4th of July themed celebratory gear, vehicles, accessories, and more through July 8th? And what vehicles are 50% off, you may ask? Well, here's a whole list for you to peruse on your own, and there's something in here for everybody. But there's one particular item that I'd really like to focus on in this list, and that's the Pegasi Oppressor Mark II. So let's talk a little bit about the paywalls set behind the Oppressor Mark II that allow you to get the maximum benefit from this piece of equipment. First of all, you're gonna wanna own the nightclub. So once you own the nightclub, then the game allows you to purchase the terabyte to put in your nightclub garage and it comes with its own floor so don't buy an extra vehicle floor thinking you need to because you don't it comes with its own workshop so once you own this vehicle when you go to customize it you're going to want to get the vehicle customization bay in the back there's several options you can choose from but you definitely want to have that option in the vehicle because that's the only way that you can upgrade and customize the oppressor mark ii very important okay now for some cost breakdowns i want to pose two scenarios for you guys and see if you fit in either category and this is just to kind of illustrate the enormity of these discounts so scenario number one let's say you don't own a nightclub and or a terabyte so that means you did not do the missions of course to unlock the regular trade discount price so you'd be faced with a bill of three million eight hundred and ninety thousand two hundred and fifty dollars ah but right now the oppressor mark ii is 50 percent off so the regular full price is now one million nine hundred and forty five thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars that's still a great deal especially if you compare it to the regular everyday trade unlock price which is two million nine hundred and twenty five thousand dollars i hope i'm not confusing you and i hope you're still with me so far so essentially your discounted full price is $979,875 cheaper than the normal everyday trade unlock price. That's how much you save on that. So here's my advice. If you have the money in game or if you can afford to boost your bank account and uh, chum the water with a little shark card, <laughs> go ahead and buy the oppressor now. You can't upgrade it or anything because you don't have the necessary things, but put it away in one of your garages and wait for a sale to come around on the nightclub and or the terabyte, whichever components you're missing. Then put your oppressor in the terabyte and do the necessary upgrades. Okay, so here's scenario number two. Let's say you own a nightclub and a terabyte and you did the terabyte missions. Now you save even more money. So if you take the regular full price, which again is $3,890,250, and you subtract the event trade discount price of $1,462,500, you save a whopping $2,427,750 on that machine. Now let's say you did 
the missions beforehand and you got the regular trade unlock price, 2925000 but you never got around to actually purchasing the oppressor for whatever reason. Maybe you didn't have the extra money. Well, that trade-in price is also half off, so it's $1,462,500. So that means you save $1,462,500. So if it's unlocked and ready to be purchased at the trade-in price, now's the best time to grab it. So no matter what your situation is currently, you can still enjoy significant savings. Now, don't compromise your real-life budget for this. <laughs> These sales seem to come back around in an orbital cycle, if you will. So pay your bills and buy your groceries and wait. <laughs> At the end of the day, guys and gals, this is just a game. And to be honest, the only reason why I bought the oppressor myself is for the missile locking capabilities. It performs its best when used as intended, i.e. in missions and not as a troll trike. Generally, when you're in a mission, certain add-ons are at their peak performance, like vehicle armor and um, ammunitions strength, or munitions strength, I should say. They work as they're supposed to when you're using the vehicle for what it's intended for. So when you're just out running around in the city, your armor is not going to be as strong as it's supposed to be because it's an anti-troll type thing that Rockstar does. It's They nerf the vehicles. So when you see some YouTubers shooting at empty vehicles and they're not in a mission, you're not seeing the full benefit. It's a rather flawed method of testing. When you're in a public lobby, you're going to take some lumps from trolls no matter what you drive. That's just the way life is on GTA. They most likely have something to blow you up. <laughs> so do solo public lobbies as much as you can if you're a solo player. If you play with friends, well, solo public lobbies can get unstable and freeze and or crash your session. So my suggestion is do as much as you can solo and um, spend time with friends, you know, doing other things. If you have to do a regular public lobby, like I said, one way or another, you know, you're going to take your lumps because if you've got something good, somebody's got something better. <laughs> so they're going to get you. All right, back on task here. So there's the list of the 50% off items for the Independence Day special. Again, the link will be in the description. You can peruse those yourself. But if your head is splitting open with joy and you think it just can't get any stinking better, it does. How about a whopping 70% off all bunkers, hangars, and facilities? So if you're looking to buy your first bunker or you want to upgrade from the free one, this is a great time to do it. Same thing with hangers and facilities, first time buyers or upgraders. Now's the time to grab it 70% off. I changed my hangar from LSIA over to Fort Zancudo. And by the time I got all said and done, I even added more upgrades than I had before. And I only wound up paying $3,375. And that's for the deluxe big hangar uh, in the middle of the three. So that was a really awesome deal. And if you're a Twitch Prime member, don't forget to peruse that section because you never know when Rockstar is going to sneak something in. And I caught something down the bottom I don't think I saw last time. 50% off on Pixel Pete's arcade there. So uh, you can read all about that on the website as well. And last but certainly not least, for all the PlayStation players out there, have a look at what uh, Rockstar has in store for you down at the bottom of the page. Looks pretty much the same as the last time, but like I said, keep your eye on it because you just never know. And lastly, to those of my viewers that watch me in America, I hope you had a safe and happy 4th of July Independence Day celebration, and I hope you didn't uh, overdo it just a bit like uh, my GTA character did. See, this is what goes on when I'm not in the game. <laughs> and by the way, if anybody's interested, we are looking for uh, full-time cleaning help. So please contact Joey Bachikaloop and you can start immediately. So until next time, please take great care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.